Good day once again. I am Akimbo Yuan Emmanuel. I welcome to this multimedia tutorial class. So I would like you to take your pen and paper, sit properly, and let's keep the ball rolling. Today, we are going to be considering basic computer operation. I repeat again, basic computer operation two. Basic computer operation two. Now, a lesson objective for today. I expect you to understand the basic computer operation. Two, I expect you to understand how to change the wallpaper and how to set the date and time. That is our lesson objective there. I've mentioned them. Now, one of those things we are going to be considering under the basic operation of the computer is shutting down the computer. Shutting down, shutting down, shutting down. Now, this particular word shutdown is quite common with anyone who is familiar with the computer. So we said this is a command that is used to turn off the computer when not in use. A command that allows you to switch off the computer when not in use is what we refer to as shutdown. The shutting down is a command that is used to turn off the whole, the computer when not in use. Now, what are the steps or what are the procedures to shut down the computer? Take note, depending on the version of your operating system, if you are working with Windows 7, Windows 8, you'll be 10. All these have different methods of work of shutting down, they are both similar but they have different work, different method. Now, I said you click on start button from the tax bar. The tax bar is the bar at the bottom, at the bottom of your word of your screen. So you click on start button here from the tax bar, then you locate and click on shut down or power or turn off. You might be saying shut down, power or turn off. Just click on any of them. Then you click on shut down or OK. But if you have bypass these three procedures I've mentioned earlier, you can just press Alt F4. When you press Alternate F4 on your system, that automatically close your active program, return you back to the desktop environment. You press Alt F4 again, that will automatically display the shutdown dialog box, dialog box for you. This is just a click on what? OK. That's why I said note, the instruction depends on the version of your operating system you are using. It may be Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10. That is installed inside your, inside your computer. But basically, shutdown is a command that is used to turn off the old, the computer system. The shortcut is simply alternate F4. Hold down your alternate key and press your function key F4. F4. That will display the shutdown box for you. Then you press enter or you click on OK. And the system will automatically shut down itself. Two. We have running an application. Like we all know, everything inside a computer is an application, one way or the other. So this implies that a particular program or an application will to the work to be open. It is otherwise called launching an application. There are ways, there are different ways to open or run a program. Now, what we're trying to do is how you can run applications, how you can run different programs on the world of your system. Basically, there are two ways the up program command and the run work and the run command. The run program and the 
one word aileron comma those are two basic ways in which you can open a particular word, a particular product for example if i am to open microsoft powerpoint on your system and i'm going to work with the all program command i will click on start click on all program click on microsoft word office then underneath i click on microsoft word If I'm working with Tiron, the procedure is a bit what is a bit different. If I'm to work with Tiron, for example, to open my open PowerPoint, I will need to click on start. I click on run, I will type power P N T. I repeat again, power P N T. Inside the run down box, then press enter. The program will automatically come alive for you to work to work. If you're working with your Microsoft Word, the same thing, you type win. Word. So basically, the run is just a shortcut. So to run an application in your computer, there, there are two ways: the all program command or the run word or the run command. So the all program command involves you clicking on the start menu inside the tax bar and locating the necessary program to the word to be open. Then two is the run command. This command is otherwise known as the shortcut command. It involves clicking on the start button and locating the run command, or you press your window key and what and R, and type the name of the program, e.g., one word for Microsoft Word, Excel for Excel, MS Access for Microsoft Access, FB.com if you go to your Facebook, or you type your Google.com, depending on what you intend to put there. And click on your OK, which will automatically launch the program for you. So, to open your program, you can now work with all programs command or you work with the run word with the run command. So, anytime you are working with the run command, take note you are working with the short cut command. Then, also, how to change the desktop background that is to say, changing the desktop or the wall. Paper background. We all know what a wallpaper is. The picture you see on the background of the phone or your system, we all call it what a wallpaper. I'm working with Windows 10 now. So if I'm to change my wallpaper, all I do is right click on an empty background. You can do that now. Right click on an empty background. Remember your mouse button, you have two buttons the left and right. This is your right button, this hand. You right click there. Then click on property or personalize. Property or personalize. Can you do that now? Okay. Then click on desktop background. Click on desktop background. Are you there? Good. Make necessary changes. That is, select any picture you want, select any texture, select any color you want from there. Are you there? Then click on close at the gray top. At the top. Yes, close. You can see the same thing, the X symbol on your screen. Just click on it to close the box. If you check your, your if you check your background and your work as well has changed. That is a very simple way to change your work, to change your work paper. Right click on empty background, click on property or personalize, click on desktop background. Make necessary changes and then click on what close. Then also take note if you are to use your picture as wallpaper, it's something very simple. The major thing you do is locate that particular picture you intend to use as your wallpaper. Look for that particular that particular picture. Are you there? I'm waiting for you. Okay. Now, if you have seen a picture, right click on the picture. On that picture you intend to use as your wallpaper, right click on it. Then you see a lot of options there. So click on set as desktop background. Again, set as desktop background. That is all. That is all. Now close those buttons screen and you see yourself. As the wall paper of your computer. 
Thank you. Then also, how you can set your date and time. Majority of us don't know how to set date and time. Take note, if your date and time is not correct, you might not be able to access the internet. You might not be able to access your www. If your date and time is not working, so you should make sure you always make sure you always check that your date and time are correct. Now, how do you do that? Number one, there is right click on the date and time inside the tax bar. Right click on the date and time inside the tax bar. Okay, do that. Do that. Yes. Then click on adjust date and time. From the drop down there, you see adjust date and what date and time. Are we there? Then make necessary changes. So click on adjust date and time and make your changes. Select your month, select your day, select your year. Just tweak those things, tamper with them. Oh well, they can't spoil your system. Just Make changes. When you are there, you can either click on OK, then click on what? Apply. Then close this box on the what on the screen. That is it. That is how to set your date and time. Either on your laptop or on your desktop or to computer. Am I clear with that? Good. Then lastly, let's go to the conclusion. The computer is now our personal companion in a world where technological advancement is increasing daily. One should at least have the basic knowledge or rudiment on how to operate the computer. Now in this global village, in this jet age where we are in now, at least one should have the basic rudiment, the basic knowledge on how to undo your work your computer. If you don't know how to handle a computer nowadays, I can't say I don't know what might happen. So we are already living in the past. You are already living the world in the past. So I will be I will leave with you to go learn how to use the world the computer. At least know the basic rudiment of the world of a computer. Now, like I've said earlier, like we discuss the basic operations of the world of a computer. We talk about our lesson objectives. That is, you must understand the basic computer operation and how to change your wallpaper and how to set your date and what date and time. Then we'll talk about shutdown. What do you mean by the word shutdown? We said that simply means to switch off your what your system so that the step can go and relax to shut it down and you can see the steps on how to do that on your what on your screen and i told you if you don't know what to do just press on f4 that will close every other program you're using and then shut down the what you want the system and then we will discuss how you can run an application that there are basically there are two ways to run an application in computer you either use your all program command or use your run work, your run command. But take note, if you are using your run command, you are working with short cuts. I say again, you are working with short cut. And then also we have discussed the all program itself and the run command, that the run command is otherwise called the short cut or the short cut command. And if you are working with short cut, for example, you are you, you, you type new word, you type Excel. I mean, shortcut to that particular program. Like you all know, LB means Facebook. So you put LB.com, that will link you up to what? To Facebook, what? To Facebook, web, what? Website. We have also discussed how you can change your wallpaper, how you can change your desktop, what? Your desktop background. You all do that on your phone. So you should know how to do that also on your work, on your computer. And then also, we will discuss how you can set your date and what? Your date and time. And then we we'll forward, we went back to the world to the conclusion. Now, if you need further information based on what we have discussed in the class, 
you can send a message directly to me through the WhatsApp platform or you send a mail from your quota down to my own quota. I will be willing and ready to work to assist you. And if you need all further information, also you can contact your textbook or you go online and search for information. Just type it there. Put your search engine how to do this, how to do that, how to shut down, how to restart your computer. And I'm sure your search engine will give you an answer to your work, to your question. And if you are still confused, you can get back to me and I will explain further to you. Once again, I am Akimbo Yuwa Imone. I will indulge you to stay safe, follow rules and regulation, wash your hands regularly, sanitize your work, sanitize your hand, and stay indoor. Stay indoor. Don't go out when necessary. And when you are going out, make sure you are with your fixed marks. And you put again, when going out, Make sure you are with your face mask. Remember, the coronavirus doesn't move if we don't move. Thank you. God bless you. Once again, I remain Akimbo Yuwa Emmanuel. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.